sequence of events in uh, a sequence of three, and we're gonna try and figure it out together. So I'm gonna start. sense for you to eat the product before learning how to make it okay so that's what we're going to talk about today but this time we're going to be learning about temporal words or words that have to do with time so temporal relating to time all right examples of this would be the word first last in the beginning second or any other words where something happens. So when I asked you those questions at the very beginning, I used those three words when I asked you the questions. All right, so I need you to take out your whiteboards right now and write whatever temporal word that comes to your head. Within your groups 
after I show you my paragraph. So I took these three directions and I wrote a paragraph. Let's see. So I said, to make a hippopotamus sandwich, you must first take one slice of bread, then add one onion ring, <coughs> finally one hippopotamus. After all that, you will have, you will get part of a hippopotamus sandwich. All right, so can anyone tell me if I have temporal words in here? Can you raise your hand? Ashlyn, do I have temporal words in here? Yes. Perfect. Can you come up and underline one of the temporal words? Is there a marker? Yes, there's markers over here. Any color you want. Finally. Okay, does anyone else see another temporal word? Heather. Yes. Yes, do you want to come up and underline? Perfect. And there's another one in here, the one that Heather doesn't get. Does someone else want to come up and underline another word? Samantha.
finishing up. Today we learned how important it is to restate the events in an orderly fashion. We're able to order three of these events and conclude it with a nice concluding sentence, which will help us in the future when talking about um, anything with using these temporal words. Can someone give me an example using a temporal word? Lindsay, um, first one slice of bread. Yeah. First one slice of bread, yeah. Great, awesome. Sure. Then tie it together with one piece of string. Then tie it together with one piece of string. Great, so these are all perfect examples and I will collect these as your exit ticket. And when, you're, when you get home, I need you to write a small narrative just like we did here on how you get ready for bed. So you wouldn't get into bed and then take a shower. So you wouldn't first get into bed and then take a shower, right? So if you were, my, my example would be when getting ready for bed, I would first take a shower and then put on my pajamas then I watch some TV. Finally, I get into bed and get some rest. Okay, so that would that would be what your um, homework would look like. And I will collect those from you. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. 